Hello everyone! Please join me in watching the video of my visit to the Anchorage Museum. There are several interesting facts I learned about Alaska from the hundreds of artifacts in the museum's permanent exhibit. Turnbull Gilbert said, We can shoot the arrow up in the air. I wonder how far it will go. That's the future. That's what we are here for. Future generations need to know our cultures. Circle and a dot in the middle in the four lines. That's our emblem that shows who we are and that's how we see our connection to the cosmos and our life essence. First fact, there are 20 different Alaska native languages that you can say, welcome. For further details on the artifacts shown in this video, I would like to credit the Alaska Native Collection and you can check on the description box about it. Among the various indigenous peoples of Alaska are the Tlingit people, Haida, and Chimsian. But unfortunately, all three of these people suffered from the smallpox outbreak in the mid-18th century to 19th century. The Haydn people are well known for their arts, just like this tunic shirt that are made of red wool and their bag that is said to be also made of red worsted, a type of wool, as well as their basket with interesting dark bands that are iron soaked in urine and their traditional Haida house. Shirt and steel for striking sparks and tinder. This fire bag is made of tanned leather with red wool strap. This coat is worn by men of influence during at the Baskin occasions, and they dress their sled dogs with this velvet beaded blankets. For the deep cold of northern Athabascan country, they wore mittens made of moose skin and is paired with parka that is made of ground squirrel skin. During ceremony, this mask is worn. To make this tray or basket, they would have to travel miles to find a willow root and make it. This beaded collar is worn during a ceremony after a year of training. They train to make moccasins among others, such as this tree that can be used as contemporary fashion or during occasions. A pair of parka and pants were by a child is made of rabbit skin, very light and warm. Two animals make up this roll-up bag, the seal's esophagus and the hair of the caribou. The sea lion is also used to make this boot out of its esophagus and this parka from its intestine. This is a dance cape, and yes, it's made from sea lion gut, throat, or skin. Now let's check the masks, which are very interesting. They have spirit mask, and they have dance mask. They have a lot of those. This one represents the singing shaman, while the lower one is also a dance mask. Masks are worn during potlatches and ceremonies. Ceremonies were used to establish social order, distribute resources, and convey information to the clan, such as when they give name or indict a new chief of the tribe and honoring a debt or marriage. And so they wear the mask during singing and dancing.
things that I like about going to museum is learning about people and culture and their way of life and appreciating my life like how they make clothing from animals or from different resources that I wouldn't think possible and the more I realize that I'm the more I am grateful and thankful for the shoe that I wear and the coat that I wear to keep me warm Alaska, thank you for reminding me that life is wonderful and life is important. And to you, thank you for watching. Merci beaucoup. Au plata.